Welcome to Guitar Quackery, where we use scientifically proven methods to fix, build, and study guitars. There's an old Chinese proverb that says, if you want to keep up to date on guitar science, you better subscribe to the Guitar Quackery YouTube channel. And the best time to subscribe is, well, right now before you forget. Uh, Alright, I'll give you a moment. One thing to remember is that at Guitar Quackery, we use only the latest cutting edge technology. <laughs> Sorry. Guitar Quackery? Oh no, you, you can just bring your guitar in. Alright, I'll well, see you later. Sorry about that, we're a busy repair shop. Although this here is not our repair shop, right now we are at the Guitar Quackery Video Lab. And since we're here, why don't I give you a quick tour? This is where all the scientific research happens. This is our dissecting table. We are equipped with several high definition cameras. And as you can see, we are also equipped with a high powered microscope, also equipped with a high definition camera. Um, once you get into the habit of watching our shows, you will be able to enjoy high quality presentations. And that's because when it comes to our choice of scientific equipment, we spare no expense. We always use only the best brands that money can buy. You, you might ask, uh, what exactly is uh, a microscope for in a guitar shop? Huh? Well, that's a legit question. And uh, I'll give you a quick taste of what you will be seeing in our shows. Uh, you know, you'd be surprised what you can learn about guitars if you take the extra step to look under a microscope. You know, just like I do. Yeah, and that's because I take my work very seriously. All right? So, here, what can you see here? You can see uh, a close-up of a string slot in a fender nut. What can we tell from this? I can tell you with absolute certainty that non-coded strings were used. And I can also tell you that this nut has, has been cut correctly. Now, let's, let's go a little closer. How do I know non-coded strings were used? At the very bottom of the string slot, you can see metal deposit. Okay, well, metal deposits just don't happen if you use coded strings. And that's because, well, they're coded. You can also see a little bit of nut wear at both ends of the nut. And you can see that this string slot has been cut correctly because the takeoff point is at the front of the knot, and at the rear of the knot, uh, the string was never even contacting the knot surface. So this is a good knot, good fender knot. Right. So now <clears throat> that we've come to the end of this presentation, until next time, thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe. If you want to support this work, you can buy me a coffee or become a patron. Links are in the description. If financial support is just not something you do, that's fine. But if you do like this work, please do subs subscribe, like and share to help me grow this channel and to help me make more of this kind of content. Bye-bye now.